All right, uh, welcome back on this Wednesday morning. Mm -hmm. That's right, and we're taking a look at Facebook this morning. So Casey is cleaning porta potties, and we're giving away a hundred dollars worth of house cleaning services, oh. which would make such a great gift for mom yes. this oh, Mother's absolutely. Day. But we want to know what else would make a great gift for mom. So head to our Facebook page. Well, David's David saying, I need a honey bucket, and okay. Char says. <laughs> Ha ha ha! Casey is daring. Uh, okay, and around. Carrie answered the question. Chocolate is what my wife likes, so that would be a good yeah. Mother's Day gift. Now I like what Anita says because I think this is how most moms feel. Someone else cooking breakfast, lunch, and dinner, mm -hmm. and of course a day. Yeah, of course, course. That's really yes. breakfast in bed, okay. the thoughtful things. Those mm -hmm. are what really matters. Yeah, That's Michael right. says a massage. That mm -hmm. would be a great. Yeah. Bottle of whiskey. Bottle okay. of whiskey. That's what Rachel wants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty yard work. I bet mom would love that. Okay. Oh, yeah. Scarlet, good one. Your time. Your time. Yeah. Larry's going to give his wife cash <laughs> for a well, Mother's Day trip to Wendover. That's great. Yeah. That's what she likes. That's perfect. I love it. Shannon, another spa day there. Yeah. Okay, there so uh, let's check in on Casey now to see what he's up to in his job of the day. All right, now this segment has been pre-taped. Why? Because right now I'm in Hawaii living up the good life, and I'm finding out what it's like to be a Polynesian cultural center worker, also what it's like to be a fire knife dancer. But today we're going to show you what it's like to be a honey bucket employee. Come on over here. This is the honey bucket. So throughout the morning we're going to find out where the name honey bucket comes from because... It's a little weird, I'm going to be honest with you. But we're also going to show you what lengths they go through to make sure that these are clean and in great use for you. Oh, this is a double wide. This is a good one. Go on in there, Mike. And I can already see Ron making the jokes. Oh, looks like you got a crappy job today, Casey. Or does it stink in there? No, it actually smells good. Want me to lift that up for you? Oh! That's a blue goodness right there. I'm pretty sure that's clean. I think, well, so. I think so too. Well, we're going to find out. So all morning long, sit back and enjoy the ride and we're going to find out what it's like to be an employee of the Honey Bucket. Oh, look. Sanitizer. Just my luck. <laughs> it's out. <laughs> <laughs> it's out, but it's so yeah. exciting when you get, like we were saying earlier, yes. when you get into a honey right. bucket with hand sanitizer. You don't look down. Doesn't he know that That's rule? That's the key. You don't look down. Don't, do no. not look into there at no. all. No. Okay. Do your business to get out. Like, I can't even talk about it. <laughs> no, I'm so grossed out. Okay, let's check it with Mary to see what's coming up at 6. Okay. Occupado! Ah. All right, I start my job today as a Honey Bucket employee, and uh, we're going to find out. First and foremost, I'm here with uh, Trevor, and uh, Honey Bucket gets his name from from uh, lots of different ways they use it, but uh, we got it through uh, acquisition, and the, the gentleman who came up with the name got it from Korea when he was over there traveling. They used uh, the wagons, and they hauled the buckets out to the rice fields, and that was called the Honey Bucket Wagon. And so when he came back, he started a company. He goes, I'm going to call it Honey Bucket. Yeah. Figured it was a fun name, and it kind of sticks. All right, and so you do want to bring a little fun and lightheartedness to the industry that you're in. And for everybody who doesn't know, the Honey Bucket industry is is uh, clean portable test restrooms and uh, you guys provide them all across the state from uh, marathons to reunions to festivals and people can just get these for all kinds of myriad of reasons yeah anything you're doing outdoors and you need to potty we're the place you call and uh, so let's talk about it because right now we've got four different honey buckets are they different honey buckets they're just different styles, different options you can get if, if you're looking to, to rent. We have a lot, lots more than this, but this is a, just a, a good example for today. All right, so what is this honey bucket right here? This is uh, the sink combo unit, and uh, what it's used for is um, special events. You're doing that picnic in the backyard. You want a place to wash your hands. You want to keep it all, all together there. You, you look in there, you can see it's got the little sink in the corner. and. That's not a bad deal. No, no. It helps. A lot of people want more than just the hand sanitizer, so uh, they have that option as well. All right, so then we're going to move on over here, Mike, to this next one. And this honey bucket is? This is the freshwater flush. Um, again, it's just another upgrade. What is the freshwater flush? So we can't just roll over that. Like, <laughs> I know you know what that means, but to us, a freshwater flush means? So it uses fresh water and actually flushes the tank out. So it's got a separate uh, compartment instead of looking in the tank like you would for a normal porta potty. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna lift it. Oh, and then hold on. See that? Fresh water flush. 
Okay, cool. All right, let's keep moving. Let's go to the next one. And the next one is, so this is a hook unit. It's more used for the job sites and stuff. But if you're downtown, you're looking at the, the big buildings they're building, they have these straps on the side that they lift up with the cranes. Um, you'll see them flying around downtown, and uh, that's what they're for. All right, and then we're going to go to this one right here. What's this? This is our standard special event unit. This is what you're going to see on all the marathons, the running events, um, your typical festival, everything else. This is what you're going to see the most of. And let me ask you this. How affordable is a portable restroom for a family reunion for an event? It really depends on lo location and, and what the scope of work is, how much service you're going to need, how, what kind of volume you're generating. But uh, typically, if you're going to have one in your backyard, you know, they're around 100 bucks, and it's really not a bad cost for not overloading your, your house and everything else. And it's not just these. You've also got uh, little hand-washing stations that you can place throughout. Yes, exactly. A lot of people get these sinks as an add-on. Again, this is for outside. You'll see them at a lot of the festivals as well. And uh, just for your basic hand-washing, if you're serving food, that kind of thing. A lot of people like to wash hands instead of just being stuck with the hand sanitizer. All right, so now we know the product. It's time to clean the product. Coming up next, are we going to get our hands dirty? Yep, we're going to make you work. All right. Okay, let's see okay. that. And it's certainly an interesting conversation yes. going on Ron during that Ron has not said story. a word. <laughs> right, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Well, that was neat to see a porta potty that flushed. Mm -hmm. I have never experienced see, I that. I told you. Mm -hmm. Use right. with the porta potties. You Ron did tell, tell us. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so look how I'm on two news this morning. A new ad has a message. That Casey <laughs> on the job, and uh, I guess he's really going to get down dirty this segment cleaning a porta potty. 20 jobs in 20 days. Today it's all about the honey bucket. I'm here with Trevor and I'm getting ready to start my first day. So where do we go from here? I'm going to turn you over to Mike the janitor. He's a route driver and uh, he'll get you all the tools you need and get you started. All right, so Mike the janitor. I remember a guy in radio used to be Mike the janitor. Uh, yeah, that's me. And uh, I just moved from the same career field, basically radio to portable toilets. It's really the same thing. <laughs> and uh, you're going to keep the name. I am going to keep the name. That's how they know me here for the most part is Mike the janitor. All right, so you're going to be my supervisor for the morning. And uh, so how do we get started? Do I need the proper tools? You do need proper tools when you're out here working in the yard. You're going to probably get a little bit messy, mostly water. So don't, don't be too frightened. All right, so how long have you been working here? I started, uh, I was their first hire back when we first started probably late August of 2007. All right, so let's uh, get on the Honey Bucket uh, Express. Okay. What do I have here? <laughs> what we have are a uh, safety vest. We're going to give you a t-shirt, some gloves, a scrubbing brush, a sponge, and also a marker in which to sign each and every unit that you help us service. Okay, and uh, so there, there, there's no mask. No mask, no. It's not what people think. You know, we're not climbing into the holding tank and playing with a ladle and a little pail. You know, you're actually just washing it out and everything like that. When you go on the road, it's a little bit different than what we're going to be doing here in our yard. Because we're working in the yard. Right, exactly. Everything's already been pumped out, and uh, it's just empty stuff that we're cleaning and okay. sprucing up. That's it. Do you get used to the smell? You do. It takes some time. For some people, uh, no. Uh, we do lose people just because they don't have the stomach for it. But, yeah, I hate to say it. I, I'm used to the smell. I can't believe that. It's okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to get geared up, and uh, we're going to be washing my legs. So uh, from Mike the Janitor, do I need a cool nickname now? I can be Casey the... Custodian? Like it. Alliteration's always fun. <laughs> Stick around. We'll be cleaning next. He keeps putting the cleaning. Yeah. I know. I know. He doesn't mm. want to get dirty yeah. this morning. Probably what he does at home, too. <laughs> and then Janae does He's it for him. Right. Janae, but Janae does it for him. No. Janae goes Janae, over to Casey. Janae does it for him. Janae does it for him. Yeah. Morning. And we promise you this time, he will clean the honey bucket. You promise? Yes. Mike the janitor. Yes, sir. Casey the custodian here yes, for you duty. You're looking very stylish, I'll very sexy, this man. Look at it. Uh, thank you very much. You, you know what I mean? You bucket calendar, I think. Right? right? <laughs> this would be January. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about this. Let's okay. do some cleaning because, uh, you know, you take cleaning very serious. We absolutely do. We are Utah's premier portable restroom and site services provider, available online at honeybucket.com. I like the way you did that, but let's get to cleaning. Okay, let's get to cleaning. So what do I need to know? Well, what we're going to have you do is we're going to have you pressure wash one of our event units and scrub the floor and then wipe it down with a sponge and make it look all pretty. All right, so now let's talk about this. So uh, get in here, Mike, real quick, because this is a yard cleaning, and uh, if you can look down there, there's nothing in there. No, you guys have already vacuumed I it all out. I hope so, yeah. Yes, I would think so. Ah! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> There's nothing in there. And so now we're gonna we're gonna blue it down and wipe it down. Yeah, or we're what? gonna put we're gonna charge it and put some um, chemical blue detergent in there. And then what you're gonna do is we're gonna fire up that pressure washer back here behind us. And then we're gonna have you hose it down. We're gonna scrub the floor with that big white brush that you got there in your hand. And then we'll sponge it down and make it dry. That's what you do with these? Yeah. Scrub the scrub the toilets. I think yes. my wife has some of these. <laughs> oh, I bet she loves that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> 
<laughs> we better get on that calendar. <laughs> All right, so let's. Uh, how do we get started? What do you want me to do? We're gonna have to uh, do a shot of blue, and then we're gonna fire up this pressure washer, and then uh, you know get it hosed. All out. right, so you hold this. I'll hold this and you. this. And I'll, I'll go the get microphone. the blue. Is it in the bucket? It's in that bucket. Be careful not to spill it. It's highly concentrated. Okay. So if it gets on concrete, it'll spread out, and it's very messy. And we don't want that. And we don't want that. No, we don't. Okay, so just, just put the bu put the bucket in there. Put the whole bucket in there. There you okay. go. And then set it on the floor. Okay. Now pick up the bottle just a little bit out of the uh, bucket, and then just do a shot of blue right there into the tank. There you go. Wow, first day on the job, and you're already doing swell. Woo! Now, go ahead and pull that out. Okay. Now we're going to need you to fire up the pressure washer, Casey, and get to spraying. All right, so... Um uh, you, you've had a, like a real job where it's required like running a lawnmower maybe or yeah. anything? Okay, do you, go ahead and fire that off then. Don't be shy. Okay. Um, you, um, is there an on switch? There is an on switch and I'm pretty sure it's ready to go. Is it really? Have you ever had a real job? I, I, mean, I, I mean, somewhat. I mean, so I just, you should be able to pull it and fire it off. I would hope so. Oh. Or turn it on. Okay. Apparently we don't know how to run our own equipment. Okay, so, <laughs> because these segments can't go on too long, and I think it's going to take me a while to do this. Coming back, we're going to get this already started, and we're going to rock and roll. That's a bad sign when your wind is just trying to... Are you all right? Um, I have a bad hip. Oh, okay. Well, I feel bad for you. Coming up, more fun with the honey bucket. It's Blame the everything hip. on the hip. It's the hip. Well, yeah. And well, probably and partly is. Yeah. You know, he used to practice mowing his own lawn at home. Sometimes a little bit more you obviously. can't get that started, though. Sometimes that's not easy. Or you no. just need to put a little more elbow into it. <laughs> Honey bucket this morning. Well, last time you left us, I was uh, stifled by the uh, pressure washer. I think we pulled a trick on you, and I'm really sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. I'm, I'm ready to rock and roll. So, okay. Mike DeJan, I'm going to give you okay. this. I'm going to hold it. Here, here. Everything. Spray the outside first. Just go ahead and pull on the restroom here. Have some fun with it. Don't be shy to get wet, Casey. Come on now, it's just water. Now come around to the side over here. Make sure to get the back. I'll have to go around this side. Okay. You want to keep your backside clean. Okay. Do the side there. Now, for the fun part, work from the door and do the inside. Do I want to go from the top to the bottom? That is correct. Do I have a mask on? No. If you were doing it, would you? No. You'll be all right. Did you say B? I said you'll be all right. Okay. That's good. Now lift up the toilet seat. You got to clean up in there. You don't need to spray in the tank, Casey. Just spray around it and spray the sink real good. Now do the floor there. What about the urinal? Spray in the urinal. Clean the whole thing. All right. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Do you guys buy sanitizer in bulk? We do. Yeah. Would you okay. like some? In a minute, maybe. All right. Okay. Now what? Okay. I'm going to have you take this brush, please. Uh-huh. Scrub the floor down for me, if you would. Okay. There you go. This right here would be October. That would be October. <laughs> <laughs> Is anybody photographing this?
There you go. All right, that's good. Okay. Now I want you to take the sponge. Uh -huh. I'm going to have you wipe down the restroom. Okay. Clean it up. All so right. do a quick wipe down, starting over here with the door, Casey. Okay. Come here and work from the top to the bottom as you were doing with the pressure washing. Woo! Most of our people move faster than this. Uh, well, I'm getting paid by the hour right now. That, you know this that is? That is no Smart excuse. working. Yeah, Smart that's working. If you're a union, sure. Okay, so just for time's sake, I'm going to wipe this down, and after I'm done with that, is it ready to rock and roll? It is. I'll do an inspection on you and see how suitable it is to be sent out. Okay, and so what does the inspection consist of? Uh, me looking at it to make sure that you've cleaned it. And now is there a measurement that you use for that? There is. We want to make sure that everything has been cleaned and polished and that there's hand sanitizer, toilet paper, that it's been charged, that the urinal's looking nice, that the floors are clean, that everything is in top-notch condition, including the stickers. And at the very end, there's one test, and that test would be? asking if it would be suitable enough for your own mother to use it. My mother. Your mother. Could we get her out here, maybe? <laughs> she would come. She would? We yeah. get her out here. Honestly. I think so, too. Well, let me finish cleaning this. As you can see, we're having some fun with the Honey Bucket. We'll send it back to you guys. Coming up, we're going to tell you about the Honey Bucket World Tour and how you can participate. We'll see you guys in a bit. i got to get back to work. He's yeah. already complaining. Okay. TV people. Get back the to work. Honey Bucket World Tour. Wow. Awesome. I, see what that I want about. that power washer for my bathroom at home. Oh, just oh, oh, just spray house. the whole thing. Yeah. Just cover the light fixtures and we're good to go. <laughs> right. Right. Build a drain. Yeah. Well, still okay, okay, Casey's cleaning bathrooms and more than just a little bathroom. And that's mm -hmm. right. So let's see how he's doing now. All right, Trevor. So I cleaned my first porta potty, and yes, I would let my mother use it. All right. Well. Uh, What's the next step? Considering you made the cut that way, we're going to send you up to Honey Bucket University. Uh, now, there is truly a Honey Bucket University? Absolutely. Uh, we take this pretty serious and uh, our training serious, and we want to make sure that everybody's trained the same, has the same level of quality when they're cleaning, and uh, a lot of safety aspects of it as well. As you can see, Mike's got your uh, university manual. And so how long will I be at Honey Bucket University? Uh, we'll send you up there for a week of basic training, then you come back and then you'll spend a couple more weeks with our drivers learning from them out on the road in the field. Um, on and so what kind of activities did they have up at Honey Bucket University, Mike? They're very thorough. Most and foremost, actually, is what I should say, is safety. Uh, they teach you proper etiquette when you're you know, driving a truck, truck and trailer, loading and unloading of the units, proper cleaning of the... We have a whole method of how we clean our portable restrooms and our sinks. Uh, of course, you have to do your HR paperwork and all of that. And basically, it's all about safety and just knowing the proper Honey Bucket way of doing things so that we're all on the same page when we're out there. Two questions. Does Honey Bucket University have a football team? Uh, no, we've been looking into that, and uh, hopefully we can get that together within the next couple of years. Yeah. Second, what is the mascot at Honey Bucket U? Mr. Hanky? <laughs> <laughs> well played. Well, let's talk about what's going on with your T-shirts because Honey Bucket World Tour. Okay, so we've got some fun t-shirts that we make. It's the World Tour. This is last year's. Uh, 2013 will be coming out here in the next couple weeks. And uh, what it entails is it's just a list of the big major events that we're on around the different regions that we service. Um, so check it out. Get online. We have them all listed there. Uh, we have got uh, Road uh, Warrior t-shirts as well that go over all the running events and everything else. So check it out. It's a fun thing. People get excited about it. All right, if people want more information about a Honey Bucket, where do they go? www.honeybucket.com All right, and coming up, we've cleaned it, we're ready to rock and roll, and now we're going to load it. We'll send it back to you guys. We'll see you in a bit. Yeah, you know, you never really want to use, uh, you know, an outhouse. you got to go, right. you got to go. You're sure happy to see oh, that yes. one. Oh, yes. You can be your best friend yes. in a difficult time. Yes. <laughs> you want one of those t-shirts, huh? <laughs> Seriously. Honey Bucket t-shirts. Yeah, uh-huh. I've still... fallen in love with Honey Buckets today. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Oh. Yeah, no. A whole new way, that's yeah. for sure. Well, here's Casey. He's got them all clean. Now it's time to load them up. Mike, the janitor. Yes, sir. Casey, the custodian here yes, for you duty. You're looking very stylish. Uh, very sexy, this man. Look at him. Uh, thank you very much. You, you know what I mean? bucket calendar, I think. Right? <laughs> this would be January. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about this. Let's okay. do some cleaning because, uh, you know, you take cleaning very serious. We absolutely do. We are Utah's premier portable restroom and site services provider, available online at honeybucket.com. I like the way you did that, but let's get to cleaning. Okay, let's get to cleaning. So what do I need to know? Well, what we're going to have you do is we're going to have you pressure wash one of our event units and scrub the floor and then wipe it down with a sponge and make it look all pretty. All right, so now let's talk about this. So uh, get in here, Mike, real quick, because this is a yard cleaning, and uh, if you can look down there, there's nothing in there. No, you guys have already vacuumed I it all out. I hope so, yeah. 
Yes, I would think so. Ah, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> There's nothing in there. And so now we're gonna we're gonna blue it down and wipe it down. Yeah, or what? We're gonna put we're gonna charge it and put some um, chemical blue detergent in there. And then what you're gonna do is we're gonna fire up that pressure washer back here behind us, and then we're gonna have you hose it down. We're gonna scrub the floor with that big white brush that you got there in your hand, and then we'll sponge it down and make it dry. That's what you do with these? Yeah. Scrub the scrub the toilets. I think yes. my wife has some of these. <laughs> oh, I bet she loves that. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> we better get on that calendar. <laughs> All right, so let's. Uh, how do we get started? What do you want me to do? We're gonna have to uh, do a shot of blue, and then we're gonna fire up this pressure washer, and then uh, you know get it hosed. All right, up. so you hold this, I'll hold this and this, and I'll, I'll go the get the blue. Is it in the bucket? It's in that bucket. Be careful not to spill it. It's highly concentrated. Okay. So if it gets on concrete, it'll spread out, and it's very messy. And we don't want that. We don't want that. No, we don't. Okay, so just put the bu put the bucket in there. Put the whole bucket in there. There okay. you go. And then set it on the floor. Okay. Now pick up the bottle, just a little bit out of the uh, bucket, and then just do a shot of blue right there into the tank. There you go. Wow, first day on the job, and you're already doing swell. Woo! Now go ahead and pull that out. Okay. Now we're going to need you to fire up the pressure washer, Casey, and get to spraying. All right, so... Um uh, you, you've had a, like a real job where it's required like running a lawnmower, maybe, or yeah. anything? Okay, do you, go ahead and fire that off, then. Don't be shy. Okay. Uh, you, but, uh, um, <laughs> is there an on switch? It is an on switch, and I'm pretty sure it's ready to go. Is it really? Have you ever had a real job? I, I mean, I, I mean, <laughs> somewhat. I mean, so I just you should be able to pull it and fire it off. I would hope so. Oh. Or turn it on. Okay. Apparently, we don't know how to run our own equipment. Okay, so, <laughs> because these segments can't go on too long, and I think it's going to take me a while to do this. Coming back, we're going to get this already started, and we're going to rock and roll. That's a bad sign when your wind is just trying to... Are you all right? Um, I have a bad hip. Oh, okay. Well, I feel bad for you. Coming up.